as we go through. Now, my name is Ricardo Allen. I'm the founder and CEO of One on One Educational Services Limited. And this is Cheryl uh, Bloomfield. Bromfield. Bromfield, sorry, from the ministry. We're actually in that camera. So we have two cameras. Um, so I'm the public relations and communications officer for the ministry. And I'm joining in just to ensure that everybody's com comfortable and that this um, online platform is a success. Right. Thank you so much, Cheryl. So, you know, today we're going to talk about uh, a few things, uh, just kind of giving you some idea as to what we're doing and how we're doing it, how you can get involved. And, you know, some of the questions that you may have as teachers um, being in the system, as you know, uh, by this time, we have somewhat of a pandemic. Uh, the COVID-19 has caused schools to be closed. And as a result, the government has been working on ensuring that students continue to have access um, to their schools and their teachers um, throughout this time, right? Now, as far as we know, it's an initial 40-day period, right? And, um, to be updated in 10 days. To be updated in 10 days so that we can get some perspective on that. But we're, we're planning to ensure that whatever the needs are, we are in a position to respond, quite frankly, right? And uh, we, we, we are, you know, and, and this is exactly why this, this discussion is important, just to give you guys some perspective again as to what we're doing and, and how you could play a role. Now, everyone here, uh, and I'd imagine it would be interested in some way or another in e-learning and uh, you know the awesome world of e-learning as I call it you know that that's kind of what we spend all of our time doing online learning so you know we're very happy that, that you can join us today and I just kind of want to start our presentation so I'm going to be sharing a screen and going through a presentation at, at certain points in that presentation, I will be asking you to, to just share any questions that you may have. Um, but I'd love to take the questions at the end so that we can get through the meat of uh, exactly what we try to present in this discussion. All right. So let me just share my screen so that you could see exactly uh, what we're talking about and then we can take it from there. Okay. So. So let me just get it started. Okay. On my screen, I'm viewing somebody's galaxy. Right. So I'm oh. actually I'm actually going to be sharing the screen now. So it will be the the dominant um, thing that you will see. Okay. So I will. So everyone should be seeing a presentation. Is everyone seeing? Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. So, um, so you know, one-on-one -on -one educational services will be allowing teachers to conduct what we call virtual schools over the next three months uh, at a maximum and a minimum, obviously of uh, two weeks, right? Now, what this means for you is we will be ensuring that uh, teachers have a way to go online, log into their classroom, and start a live session with their students, monitor things like homework that they have done, assignments that you've issued, uh, or just about any content that you'd want to share with the students or track, right? So think about uh, YouTube. Uh, you may want to pull in YouTube content as you prepare your lessons. Uh, you'll be able to put together your lesson plans, as it says here. Uh, and, and you can even kind of pull resources from wherever you have it, right? Uh, and to create that awesome environment for students and other teachers to participate in one big classroom, right? And it's going to be online. Uh, we have a few things that we want to kind of focus on. One is the fast course creation, as you see here. You'll be able to load in all your presentation material, uh, videos, uh, and you know, scoring packages for those who are familiar with e-learning 
you may have e-learning content elsewhere that you'd want to pull into your class. We allow you to do that. We also allow you to pull in YouTube videos, stuff from your Google Drive, and just stuff from generally anywhere uh, on the internet that you can find that your students would want to use, right? And, and you'll be able to do that. But I think, I think the biggest kind of uh, benefit of this virtual school that we will be doing is to enable you to use content that's already prepared, right? One-on-one uh, -on -one through our partners, the Ministry of Education, even the Caribbean Examination Council, we have designed videos for just about all the topics on the syllabus for math, English language, the science, just about everything. Um, I heard someone just know, uh, if you could just go on mute for me, please. Uh, right, so let me just ensure that me okay right right so we we have created videos for all the topics on the math english physics chemistry biology integrated science human and social biology principles of business a lot of content is already prepared for you that allows you to engage the students in self-paced learning. So what, what is self-paced learning? Let's talk a little about that, right? So what we're saying here is imagine a scenario where we can say to students, go home and review the lesson on trigonometry. Let's say math, okay? And the students can go home and they can, you know, review a lesson on, let's say, Pythagoras theorem. And once they're through with that lesson, when the teacher comes back to the classroom, the focus is more so on reinforcement and providing activities to students to engage in peer learning as opposed to going on a whiteboard and reteaching that sort of topic, right? The beauty of students engaging in self-paced learning allows them to do things like, for example, fast forward a video. Let's suppose that they have passed that concept or even rewind a video, right? Um, that's the beauty of self-paced learning. And what we've done here through the virtual school is we have loaded on there all the videos for every topic in every syllabus that I've just met, uh, shared with you guys, right? So teacher at, you know, number one, teachers will be able to, can everybody just go on mute for us, please? Uh, there are a few persons that are not on mute. Okay, so, right. So we've added all the content for all the topics on those subjects that we've mentioned. Now, in addition to video-based content, um, I see someone here that needs to go on mute, right. In addition to video-based content, we also loaded Cheryl labs, right? So for physics, chemistry, biology, we've loaded onto the platform the labs for the students to actually go through, right? We're talking about a minimum of about 20 labs that the students can go through and simulate that laboratory experiment that they would have done in a physical lab. So the science students off the bat will be able to have access to all their labs pre-done online that they can go back through on their own time. That's important. The third thing, that will be available through the virtual school are what we call digital encyclopedias. And what these are is for students who are in grade uh, seven to 13, we have taken all the topics in math and science and we've simulated all those topics. So instead of someone learning Cheryl about reproduction, right, and, and reading it in a book, the student can go online and actually simulate what happens when a woman is giving birth, right? That's very important. Right okay? So you can actually see um, what, what's taking place. And uh, why, why is this important? It's simply because, uh, you know, given that we're handling so many students, guys, right? Uh, we're talking about upwards of 500,000 students who, who, who should have been in school, not in school. The question is, 
can everybody attend class at the same time? The answer to that is no, right? So what we've done is to create some of the subjects in a way where students can engage in self-paced learning. Now, finally, in addition to the Cyberpedia, the full online course, and also the digital encyclopedias that we've provided for students who are specifically preparing for CSEC and CAPE, we're making available the last 10 years of past paper solutions available for those students for over 17 subjects, right? So the students who are preparing for exams, they will also have available those past paper solution booklets that they can go through and actually work those questions. And I think that would be very helpful, especially for the CSEC and CAPE students who are preparing, right? So the virtual school will give you all of that from a course library perspective, but it also allows you to create your own learning material, and that's important. Now, in terms of blended learning and live classes, this is important as well, because while we will have our classes on a daily basis, right, in terms of uh, we will have a standard timetable for the entire country. Uh, we're talking about a different timetable per region. Those are discussions that we're having. But it's going to be a standardized timetable where students on a Monday, for example, at 9, will know that if I'm in grade 7 or grade 6, grade 5, grade 4, I have math or I have language arts, and they'll be able to just come online click on that class and the class appears in front of them. The teacher appears in front of them, right? Um, okay, right. And the teacher appears in front of them. I, I've, I'm being told just to hit the record button. Let me just, uh, one sec, guys. Uh, let it's me... already recording. Oh, it's recording. Oh, very well. Thanks so much. Right, so, so, so you know, we, we, we are allowing we will be having classes from what we call a virtual school. And, and what that means is we are training approximately 180 teachers in the first rollout. We're going to be training even more. Uh, but the first rollout, we're training those teachers to get them ready to participate in the virtual school. And, and, and this is important because, uh, you know, we, we just completed a similar project in Bahamas, actually, where we, you know, we went over after Abaco, which is, you know, Hurricane Dorian would have affected uh, Bahamas about uh, several months ago, about in September. And we went over and we ensured that all the students from Abaco and Grand Bahama would have had classes, even though they were displaced, right? So it's a similar model that we're doing. Now, the idea is to establish the first virtual school in Kingston. That's important, okay? And what we're doing in this virtual school is to allow each teacher, we're giving each teacher a headphone, pen tablets, this is important, right? Uh, let me just make sure that you're seeing what I'm doing here. So we're ensuring that you receive a pen tablet, which is this, okay? And what this helps you to do is just to write, Okay, and it shows up on the screen. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So you can write and it shows up. This is a pen tablet. We're going to give all the teachers access to this. We're going to give you headphones. And we're also going to give you microphones, right? Now, we use the Blue Yeti microphone to do our online um, content. And, and we use Wacom tablets as well to produce our e-learning videos as well. And so, you know, we'll be giving these to teachers so that you can actually use in the virtual school, right? So this is important. Now, what, what's the setup of the virtual school, right? What will that look like? Um, what will be expected and so on? I, I want to talk a little about that. And, um, but before I do that, let me just finish the last two points here, which is one, uh, communication and collaboration. We believe that the best way to execute this project is simply by ensuring students engage in peer learning, right? So we're talking about a discussion forum, ensuring that students are sharing ideas, and even in class times, 
timetable with class times, what we're saying to teacher is, teachers is instead of teaching the students, engage in peer-to-peer -peer discussions in the discussion forum, right? So those are some of the things that will come up in the training. As I said, this is not the training. This is just a sensitization, sensitization session telling you exactly what is coming and, and, and why we need you on board, okay? Um, finally, we have here skills gap testing, and this is very important, right? Because the students will be staying at home. We don't necessarily want to have a blanket approach to learning, right? So what we're allowing students to do, and the virtual school, which is powered by one-on-one -on -one and flow, um, what this will allow students to do is to do what's called a skills gap test. You know, all that is, is, you know, when your car has an issue, you take it to the mechanic to tell you what exactly is wrong. And then you go and you buy the parts and then you figure it out. This is exactly what we're doing as well for uh, the virtual school. What we're saying is you will be able to do a skills gap test as a student and the system will tell you all the weak areas that you have and it will suggest content that you can use to fix those gaps, okay? And it intelligently, it, it intelligently does that so that you don't, as a teacher, have to identify each skills gap and, and fix those for each student. So that's, that's a very big point. Now, let me just go to the next slide. Um, so when is the start date? What are we doing? And, and, and who, who are we targeting, right? So uh, we're aiming to start on March 23rd. Uh, that's about a week and a half away. Today's what, Friday? So that a few, that's a few days away. Um, students will have access to live and on-demand classes. So remember we said that, yes, students will be able to join the live classes, but we have to be mindful of the fact that not all students, one, have access to internet, two, uh, will be available at that time because it's going to be a standardized timetable. So, you know, I may have other things doing, for example. And, and then three, just to manage the process a little better, what we're asking students to do is to engage in self-paced learning using the content that's already there, but during the class times, come online and engage in peer-to-peer -peer discussion with your teachers. The teachers will be having activities that you can do as well and it will be amazing, right? Now, here's the important part, and, I'm, and, and I want to make a big announcement, right? For students who are trying to access the virtual school post launch, once you're on the school network, you will be able to do it without internet. And that's amazing, right? Um, so so we, we want to ensure that students, so, so, so students will be able to have access to the discussion forums and that sort of thing. We're still having a discussion surrounding streaming um, live to, to all students uh, and, and, and making that obviously zero rated, but that's not there yet, right? We're not there yet. Where we are is students engaging in a discussion forum, chatting with each other, working on problems, that sort of thing. We want, if you're on the network, um, you will be able to access it. And I'm pretty sure that the government is also looking at also engaging or other providers to ensure that, that it can be facilitated. Now, the grade levels that we're targeting, obviously, is PEP, CSEC, CAPE. Um, there's a little typo there, but the, 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 the idea here is that we have to so we have a big problem that, that we're facing now, right? Students are home. We have about 600,000 students are home. And what we're trying to do is to focus on the most needy area, right? And, and that area for us are the students who are preparing to do exams. Now, if you would have seen a news release earlier, PEP for this month has actually been canceled, right? Um, and, and, and so that, that's awesome, but postponed. Thanks, right? So Cheryl corrected me. Right, so that, that's actually great, but the thing is, it's postponed, as, as Cheryl would have mentioned, not canceled. So the students, we still have to prepare them and ensure that they are ready, and, and so that's important. Now, for C Second Cape, so far, mm -hmm. you know, as far as we're concerned, that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And so our focus wants to be essentially to get these students ready for C Sec, Cape, and PEP. Now, here's the important part. 
On March 23rd, we will only roll out the virtual school to PEP, CSEC, and CAPE students. But within about two weeks, we will expand this to students as far back as pre-K to as old as grade 13, right? So we're going, the entire education system, we want to have access to the virtual school. And by that time, what we intend to have is multiple virtual schools all across the country, right? So we'll be going to the regions, setting up virtual schools so that teachers in, in various parishes can participate in this process without coming to Kingston, fair? And so we're taking virtual school to you and um, it's a similar setup as I said, once we have a virtual school and you're added as a part of the virtual school, we're gonna give you a pen tablet, okay? That looks like this that you can write and you can teach. We're also gonna give you four hours of training, so you don't have to worry about that. We're gonna give you a microphone, which is pretty awesome, right? This allows you to kind of, uh, it's really nice, right? So we have these microphones and we also have these as well that we can give you, I'm not sure if you can see this, right? But these, these are these small lapel microphones, but we'll be equipping all the teachers to ensure that you can deliver online instruction, right? Um, because our belief is that we have some great teachers out there. Uh, and this is exactly why we did this call to action, right? We wanted those teachers to come forward um, to flex your muscles. Some of you would have taught online before, so you, you have a good feel for things. And you know some of these things you know already, uh, which is great. And, and, and that even helps us know because you could teach someone else, right? And, and that helps us, right? So um, this is gonna be a joint initiative, right? We can't do this by ourselves. And we will need your help to ensure that we can uh, ensure that students get the tuition they need while being at home. Uh, another important point to, to just share with you guys is that these streams will be via the platform online, but we also are having conversations to stream to the TV as well, right? Your television network. We, we believe that students who are at home sitting in front of the TV uh, we can push those streams to them as well so that if you don't have internet, that's one of the solutions that we're looking at. Um, so finally, the pilot phase, as I said, starts on March 23rd. That's the CSEC Cape and PEP. Um, the, the, the phase one, which starts a week after, we will focus a little bit more on more CSEC subjects. So for example, on March 23rd, we may focus on the main subjects, right? What are they? Uh, math. English, physics, chemistry, biology, social studies, IT. We may do that. But on March 30th, we will focus more on the subjects that are you know, a little deeper in the catalog. So we talk about human and social, uh, well, not human and social, food and nutrition. Um, you know, those sort of subjects that, uh, you know, less candidate entries, but certainly we don't want to leave those students out. Now, phase two is gonna be important, that's on April 6th. And at this point, we're gonna expand the system now, the virtual school, to not only PEP, CSEC, and CAPE, but we're gonna expand the virtual schools to persons who are in grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four, grade five, grade six, all the grades, right? But the same thing, we don't want to offer all the subjects at the same time on April 6th, because we're learning and we're expanding, we're expanding, we're expanding. Remember, it's about 500,000 students. Um, we have to be careful. We have to make sure that when the students come online, everything is good, everything is quality, and they're learning, right? Because we don't want to have disengaged students. So we're being very careful about how we roll this out, right? And introduce new concepts to these kids. As you know, as teachers, um, you know, when, when you're introducing concepts to students, we use, uh, we, we kind of seam it in, right? We don't just give them the big picture one time, right? So in primary school, you hear about Christopher Columbus discovering um, the Jamaica, and then when you get older, you get the facts, right? So, you know, that's, that's how learning happens, and that's how we will learn from this as well. We'll start small, and then we will expand as, as we go forward. So on April 6th, we're expanding from grade one all the way up to grade 13, but we're focusing on the core subjects to begin with. So for sixth form, we may start out by just focusing 
on communication studies and Caribbean studies, right? We, we may touch on our MOB because, you know, there's a lot of persons that studies MOB. You know, we may do pure maths, right? We, we may do that, but, you know, we, we may not start out with something that, that has a very small number because we want to have the biggest impact to ensure that the students who are doing those big subjects receive the assistance that they need. Uh, so, so that's on April 6th. And then on April 13th, this is our target period, which is about a month away that we want to expand the platform to everyone, right? So we're talking about 500,000 students coming online daily, clicking their grade, clicking the timetable, and boom, their teacher pops up right in front of them, right? We'll be doing that from the virtual school, and, and this will be for every student by that time. Now, hopefully, guys, hopefully, we can fix corona in the next few, 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 few days, and we may not have to go there. But what we're saying is, if we do need to go there, we will be ready. And I say we because everyone who is on the stream, I'm seeing over 200 persons now logged on to the stream. I'm saying everyone on the stream should be ready to deliver, right? And again, we're, equip we're equipping you by giving you a microphone, a pen tablet to write on. We're going to train you. Um, a lot of teachers tell me when I train them using this um, that, look, you know, it's very hard to start out with because, you know, you're used to writing on a piece of paper. How do you know write digitally? Well, you know, we, we make you comfortable in doing that, right? So don't worry. Just know about that. And we give you a nice headphone so that you can actually um, hear. So I have the sound so I can hardly hear anything. But you, you get the picture, right? So these are the phase, phases that we're rolling out. So let's look a little closer at the virtual school, guys, in terms of what we're doing. So what we're going to be doing is, uh, you know, we're, we're going to have teachers. This will be the setup, right? So you will sit in front of a table. We're going to put you in front of a table with a computer, and we're going to have you stream these classes. So we're going to have you teach, just as I'm doing now in front of my computer. We're not going to have a camera pointed on you. That's not the model that we're doing, guys, right? It's going to be sharing the screen, just like my PowerPoint presentation that I'm running now. Um, so just to give you some expectation, guys, let me just write on this. So you see I'm writing. So let's talk, right? So this, 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 it will be more about this, right? So you will have to, for example, learn how to put together your slides in a PowerPoint like this. And we will give you the pen tablet so that you can start doing some very nice things, right? So we can, for example, do math and we can do this and then we stream it, you know, that sort of thing. That's what we're going to be doing, okay? Which is why these devices are so important, right? Um, so for those teachers who are a little uncomfortable with showing their faces and so on, don't worry. Don't worry about it, right? We're not putting a camera in front of you. What we're doing is, um, you know, we're, we're ensuring that you, 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 you teach and less so, you know, focusing on a camera and, and trying to sound like a reporter, right? No, no knock on reporters, but, you know, teachers teach, right? And, and we want to ensure that you keep teaching and you don't worry too much about the technology, okay, guys? As you see here, the, the, once, the, once you teach that class, we will stream it to the mobile phones. The students, while we don't encourage um, groupings, the students will be able to group up and, 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 and do their um, classes, you know, so I may be over a friend's house, I can do the classes on one stream, or we stream directly to the homes, right? So if you have an internet connection there, that would be awesome. If you don't, we're working on a solution now to ensure that persons without internet, but once you have a mobile phone, we ensure that you can get the content on your phone, not the streams just yet, but the content in terms of the on-demand videos. Just like you go on Netflix and you watch a video, or you go on to YouTube and you watch a video, all your lessons will be loaded there, right? So it may be a case where we do the classes in the day, Cheryl, then we save the classes, and then students at their own time, when they reach over the ante with the internet, they just bring up the class that went on today. So it doesn't depend on the students having internet at the homes, but they just must know where to go and either get a mobile phone or to go to a friend's house with internet. This is no, it's amazing, Cheryl. I, I tell you, man. And, I, you know, I commend the ministry 
just to, to, to you know in helping us to kind of put this concept together and, and e-learning jamaica obviously and of course flow our partners they have done a fantastic job in terms of just you know sharing and and, and helping us with the infrastructure and, and ensure that we can deliver on what we're saying right now you know one-on-one -on -one, we are the e-learning guys obviously we have the e-learning technology but what is e-learning technology without you know networks without ensuring that the servers are right without ensuring that there's no buffering right and that's exactly what we're doing so let's let's look and see how this will work so teachers are trained right that's step one that's what we're doing and when will training start we will send out a schedule on the weekend so by next week you should have an idea as to when training will start training will be roughly about four hours and it will be online guys we're not asking you to come to a physical location um, you know you know we have to stay a meter away right now Cheryl and I we're a little close but that's fine we still ail each other by doing this right we don't shake each other's yeah. hand but um, you know we, we, we are saying that you will be trained online so just as you're saying, we want, know we you will be training the teachers you. online uh, let me just kind of mute everyone else guys can you just mute me. for me please I beg you right thank you uh, some persons are not muted let me see here who is not muted uh okay here we go so firstly we're going to train the teachers right and and remember we, we are not just training 180 teachers right we're starting with 180 but as the need expands right we are saying we're going to train more and more teachers and ultimately we want to ensure that every teacher in jamaica is equipped to teach online right because you see right now we have coronavirus and, and and you know it's really bad but we are going into a hurricane season now that spans six seven months right and and what if the kids are out of school and you want to be able to teach we want to use this as a watershed moment to ensure that you are trained to deliver online instruction right so i want you to tell everyone that's not on the stream that listen if you want to learn how to teach online do that course because ultimately it will better Jamaica, right? It will better the school system. So this, the virtual school will be ready for use on the 23rd of March, as we said. And by this time, we'll select the first group of teachers and we're gonna give them the microphone, headsets and the tablets so that they can start teaching. Um, next one, we're gonna, um, okay, so I'm, I think I clicked on, okay, here we go. Um, right, so next one, uh, we're going to onboard teachers and students to the platform, guys. So uh, what we mean by onboarding is we want to ensure that teachers across the country are signed up to the platform to teach from the virtual school. However, students as well will need to be onboarded, right? And what we're going to do is that we're going to allow teachers to sign up with their Google accounts, right? So if you have a Google account, um, you'll be able to sign in and sign up with that Google account. And if you have, let's suppose, uh, let me just mute this, right, guys. Okay, let's just One second, guys. Trying to move. One second. Remember that. All right, there we go. There we go. So, sorry. Guys, can you just go on mute, please? All right, here we go. Okay, right. So the, the next one is that we're gonna onboard the teachers. So what will onboarding look like, right? So for teachers, you can use your Google account to sign in. We have make, made it very easy for you. Now, why are we using your Google account? Now, you may be familiar with Google for Classroom. The virtual school has a similar scary, but user experience. Anything. Um, guys, can you just go on mute, please? Hello, guys, can you go in, go on mute, please? Is everyone hearing? Um, okay, Carlene, just to point out, Carlene, if you're having trouble hearing, it could be that you've not joined your audio, so you just turn on your audio and you will be able to, to, to hear. All right? But if you could just go on mute for me, I'd appreciate mm -hmm. it. I beg you, please. Madam, can we hearing clearly? Okay, very good. Thank you. We're hearing clearly. Perfect, 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 perfect. Right. 
Guys, are you enjoying the, the, the information session so far? Just type yes for me, please. Are you enjoying it? Are you, are, you, are you understanding what we're doing here? I'd love to get some feedback. Yep, absolutely. Right? Yeah, I got some yeses. Thank you very much. Very good, very good. All right, guys, so let me just run through again. We'll allow you to ask the questions at the end. And, um, you know, we'll set up about 15 minutes so that you can start asking questions while well, spend the next seven minutes just going through some more things. Um, one second, guys, let me just see. I see two persons raising their hands. Don't worry, I'll allow you to, to ask questions. One second, allow, okay, so I'm gonna disallow persons from unmuting themselves. I'm gonna allow them to mute and enter. Very good, so I'm gonna mute everyone. <laughs> All right, so that should solve it now. So no one should be able to unmute themselves. No. Uh, let me just see. Uh, one second, guys. Okay. Um, I'm just changing the settings to allow you to... Okay. Um, okay. What? So I'm going to try it again, guys. One second. All right, all right, that should solve it. Okay, guys, so. One second. Right. All right, guys, just, just go ahead and mute yourself for me, please. I beg you. Right? All right, guys, feel free to go on social media and just tell the ministry your thoughts about what we're doing here and the plans, um, feel free to just share, um, you know, M-O-E, M-O-E-Y-I Jamaica. That's the Twitter handle. You can go there. You can kind of follow M-O-E for updates as well. And then obviously one-on-one -on -one locker. That's O-N-E-O-N-O-N-E-L-O-C-K-E-R, one-on-one -on -one locker. That's our Twitter handle. Just tell us what you feel about this and let's get cracking, guys. So teachers will be onboarded, students will be onboarded, and that will all take place next week, guys, right? So we'll be talking on the radio, we'll be on the TV, we'll be on the news every day to tell students how to go online and sign up. But classes begin on March 23rd for a restricted number of students, right? And then we're gonna expand the program, okay, guys? So teachers will be onboarded, students will be onboarded. Now, just a point of note that one of the reasons we are asking you to sign up using your Google account is very important that you understand. We actually understand that teachers may have their sensitive content that they've worked years in developing, Cheryl, right? And they don't want to have everybody having access to it. So what we're saying is you don't have to store the content on our platform. What you could do is to store it in your Google Drive and then we allow you to pull it from your Google Drive into the virtual school, okay, guys? And again, the virtual school is powered by one-on-ones and flows technology. And, um, you know, you, you will enjoy exactly what you will have there. I will probably give you a quick uh, walkthrough so that you can see it before I leave. Um, but let me just go forward. Number four, we'll be doing a pilot rollout, as we mentioned, on March 24th, March 23rd, and then we will add more. What will a pilot rollout entail for those who have just joined the stream? It's basically PEP, CSEC, and CAPE live sessions, a restricted number of subjects, right? So we're going to talk about math, language, English, A, English, B, those sort of things. The music and the religious education and those sort of things will come a little after. But we want to focus on the big boys, right, to get those out so that we can move it along. Um, and it will be live and on demand, right? So students with internet will be able to consume live. But if you don't have internet, that's fine, right? Because all the lessons are loaded for you online that you can watch at your own pace, right? So parents will be able to have their students study around the clock. Could be a little early evening, late evening, early morning, late morning. It's up to them, okay? And then finally, obviously we're going live, right? So we're targeting about 10,000 students initially. And then we're going to go from 10,000 and we're going to go up, up, up all the way to about 500,000 students over the period, right? 
and flow obviously e-learning jamaica and the ministry of education are supporting us in making sure that this is a possibility so just to recap what we've mentioned the first the pilot as i said pepsi second cape march 23rd to march 27th march 30th pepsi second cape but we're doing this for you know more subjects march 30th that week then we're going to expand to the grade levels grade one all the way up right we're going to expand the grade levels right about april 13. um this thing is moving a little quick let me just pause this um right so finally guys final slide so remember we told you that while you are you know going into our going on this online journey right which we're very happy to take you on by the way um it thrills me the company the folks here at one-on-one -on -one, cheryl just about everybody how amazing um this experience will be for teachers you know just to have them teaching online staying at home do have to go through the commute so while you know it's a really a sad time obviously there's a lot going on and we are, we ought to be mindful um what we're saying here guys is that it's also an opportunity for us to just reflect and and to rest a little and also to, to prepare ourselves for when students get back to learning okay because as teachers it can be very hectic and um I, I know you guys um appreciate the fact that you know uh, you know you will be able to still teach your students remotely because a lot of you want to get back to the classroom as well so what you're looking at here is a course outline for an online course that we're going to offer this online course will start next week and it will be open to all teachers in jamaica and uh, what we're actually working on is for the teachers to receive a certificate at completion so that can go towards your professional um you know development hours annually that you have to do so so we're trying to give you four hours in professional development uh, and and so that will save you and it's online right you don't have to leave and i know you like to go to the seminars and you like to to enjoy the company of others but you know it's a very serious time now and everything that we can do online we will do online now this course will have six modules that will focus on accessibility in learning right teaching not only for the able but also for the disabled community right how do we do that um, we'll also be focusing on course design, right? Meaning, how do I put together a very nice lesson plan to get students engaged, captivating, and learning, right? Because that's the end result, to ensure that our students learn. Because as teachers, that gives us something amazing, right? Um, you know, I, I taught math, um, and I'm, I'm an actuarial um, graduate, and I, I taught math while studying. And it was the most amazing experience to, to prepare students for their exams, right? And you know that's what one-on-one -on -one is about, just ensuring that we can continue to deliver personalized education to students online, right? Um, instructional design technology. So we'll tell you a little about um, the Adobe Captivates, the, the Articulate Storyline, the Articulate 360. We will teach you about all of those things that you can use to make sticky and engaging content. And, and even if we don't go that that high and advanced we can focus on using your simple powerpoints to design lesson and and and, and teach right and of course um we'll be showing you guys how to use these tablets too that's the instructional design technologies how you use the tablets while you're teaching we'll also show you how to build your own courses guys meaning you can you know take your lesson plans take those instructional design technologies and create your own courses right um and that's the course bill now every time you build a course you have to review that content right we have to make sure that it's peer reviewed making sure that it's solid so that when it goes out to students it's not the incorrect information right it's, the world is packed with information google has a lot of information youtube all these places which is why it's so important for us to create this virtual school so that we can point students to the content that has been approved by the ministry, that has been vetted, peer reviewed, and that sort of thing, guys, right? Um, so that's what we're doing. My camera actually just took a picture. Apparently I did this and it took a picture, so that's amazing, right? Uh, I'm not sure how that happened. Uh, but okay, guys, and then finally, teaching online, ensuring that you're comfortable to teach online. And this is exactly uh, what we'll be doing, right, guys? So. 
uh, th that's the plan. That's the plan. Uh, it is to give you access to the virtual school. It's also to give you training to prepare you to teach online. And the final thing I will just mention to everyone here is that we will support you guys, right? Teachers, parents, students, we are creating a situation where we will have hundreds of people, right? available on demand to support you if you have any technical issues, right? We don't want the technology to, to get in the way of you teaching. We know you're great teachers. We know that's what you do. We want to allow you to do what you're great at and we figure the other part out, right? So teachers will get on-demand support from, you know, telephone, email, or help desk will be available 24 seven guys, 24 seven that when you're up at night, you know, kind of creating your content, you will be able to actually, you know, have support to continue working, right? Guys, we have to rise to the challenge, Cheryl, right? We have to rise to the challenge. We understand that these are some aggressive, um, you know, kind of programming. And, but we're doing it because we want to ensure that teachers don't feel like we don't have their backs. Um, the students understand that we're there for them and parents can rest assured that their students will not miss out as a result of COVID-19. And this is why we're putting in place all of this. And I guess the, the only thing that, um, the, the only thing that's kind of left for me to share with you guys is that uh, we know e-learning, right? We've done this in the Bahamas with Hurricane Dorian when Irma and Maria ate in the Eastern Caribbean countries, we went there, students in tents, we were helping the students. Uh, we ensure that they stayed in school while um, being outside of school because the schools were completely destroyed in some of the countries, Turks and Caicos, Dominica, St. Kitts and so on. And while we've not had a hurricane like that in, 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 you know, in the past 10 years or so, what we're saying is guys, we're going to use this experience to ensure that one, you guys are covered, two, the students are covered, three, the parents are covered, and this is not only coming from one-on-one, -on -one. this is coming from myself, the Ministry of Education, Flo, who has assisted us in executing all of these um, projects around the Caribbean, um, you know, and, 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 you know, what I love is the fact that, you know, this, 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 that we're faced with right here, it's new, but it's not new to us. Right, and we are here with the ministry. We have joined hands with the ministry. We've joined hands with Flo. We've joined hands with e-learning Jamaica, with the government of Jamaica to ensure that we can deliver this. But we cannot do this without you. We cannot do this without having your support as teachers, some of the best teachers in the country, great people, good people, great teachers. We want the best teachers to submit that form and to make themselves available for the virtual schools to deliver learning. And even if you're not on the virtual schools, guys, we will be releasing our platform for everybody to, everybody to access within about a week or so. So every school will have their ability to have their own virtual school. And we will release that next week, guys, so that as a school, you can onboard your students, on board your parents and teachers can teach even with this massive virtual school still happening, right? So I know people want to finish the syllabus with your students, right? You will be able to do that because we're releasing the platform to every teacher in Jamaica. And the beautiful part of it, Cheryl, is that what? It is at no charge to you. It is free, right? So it is free. Everything we're doing is for you guys. So, you know, without anything else, um, thank you so much for this presentation, um, for joining us. I'm going to open the floor in um, about a couple of seconds so that we can take some, um, you know, questions. But just some rules of, of engagement here, guys. Uh, because it's so many persons that are on the call, uh, let's have some sort of rules that govern how we, how we kind of take some of these questions, right? So I'm just going to go into to my, um, my contact list and I'm seeing a couple persons who raised their hands. I'm going to go 
from top down. And, um, you know, I'm going to respond to some of those questions, right? So the first one was from Kelia. So Kelia, I'm going to unmute you so that you can um, ask your question and then I will respond. Anyone who wants to ask a question, just raise your hand. Raising your hand is as simple as clicking the button on your, um, on your, on your, uh, on your Zoom. Um, so if you go to, you can do it two ways. You can go to participants and you can just raise your hand and um, it will take you there, right guys? So let's go, Kelia. I'm going to unmute you in three, two, one. Go ahead, Kelia. Let's hear it. Kelia? Kelia? Kelia Jones? Oh, yeah. Ah. Hi, Kelia. You have a question You're for hearing us? me? Yes, we are. We're here. Oh, you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, um, you mentioned that if, if, thank you so much, the information is, uh, it's a lot and uh, um, it's informative and I feel confident that such a platform is being provided for us. I cannot thank you enough. No problem. Thanks so much, Keila. Yeah, thank you enough. Right. Um, but you mentioned, I have two questions actually. Sure. You mentioned that, um, you mentioned that if, students don't have internet access they're supposed to go to somebody's house is that the only option for persons who don't have internet access because i think leaving their house is going to, is going to defeat the, the whole purpose of having persons isolated and 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 it I will kind of disrupt so let me, our distancing let me take that question quickly Kelia. so i i so i'm not suggesting that students leave their homes to join other students in other places right Mm -hmm. um so i i actually discourage it however what we're saying is for those persons who have access to internet they'll be able to have the streams at the time it's being streamed they'll be able to watch that teacher teach right but yeah. for those persons what we're saying to them is that hey look right if you don't have internet connectivity at home we're gonna allow you once you're on the flow network to use a mobile phone without internet and access, okay. obviously it has to be a smartphone or a phone that okay. can receive internet to access okay, okay. those lessons, not live, however, not live, but on demand. That makes okay. sense? And yes, we're trying does, to work does. with the other um, provider to do the same. All right, that's good, that's good. Um, I, another question just popped in my head, so I actually have three instead of two. Um, yeah. Uh, what is the other question? Don't tell me if I forgot it. That's fine. You can move on to you, the next you, one. Right, earlier, earlier you mentioned that um, you said that um, the virtual classroom will be in Kingston. And then I heard you mention that um, pen tablets will be given to teachers, right? I yeah. don't know if I wasn't listening and I apologize for asking if you actually answered the question, but is it going to be given to each teacher or are you going to pilot it with a specific amount of teachers and then bring everybody on board? That's an excellent question, right? So you have, you're, you're asking some great questions. So the initial idea is actually to pilot um, on March 23rd, but the yeah. ultimate goal for us is every teacher who will be teaching the virtual um, schools will have yeah. their own pen, tablet, microphone, and headphones. And, okay. and the reason for this is because the more training that you can do in your own time, the better it is for you, okay? So, yes. okay. you know, while you're at home, for example, without not being in the lesson, you'll be able to just go on there and just practice, 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 okay? And, yeah, yeah. and you will get the writing and thing down. So, um, we, 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 our intention is to give it to every teacher who will participate in the program. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we could have a bigger conversation after this project to, to ensure that all teachers um, nationally receive such devices right but that's a bigger conversation obviously but we want to focus on the 181st and then we can expand that all right awesome good all good right. um you 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 are should we encourage students to, to download this app or do we wait until information is given our direction directions are given from the ministry yes i think you wait until next week monday where when we open it up because we're mm -hmm. going to um, restrict access until next week, Monday. So don't access it until next week, Monday, because we're okay, still okay. just setting up the timetables and things like so. So, okay. and, and also it's not a mobile app. It's actually a website that can be used on the mobile. Okay. okay. So you'll okay. be able to use it on the mobile. Um, okay. And it shows up pretty cool on the mobile as well. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, Kilo? 
All right. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You can, you can go you. on mute. Um, no, thank oh, you. Let, all right. Hold yeah. on. Let me see how I do that now. <laughs> right. Um, all right. Thanks. No problem. Next one. Uh, is this, I'm seeing Miss Cameron. Is it Legay Cameron? I'm going to unmute you. Go okay. Ahead. It's Legay. It's Legay. Legay. Thank yes. you. All right. How are you? I'm good so far, and I'm just have a quick question. I don't know if you had mentioned it, but I have been busy while I was listening. Okay. Um, will you guys provide gadgets to like the students? Because I'm from the rural environment where some of my students don't have access to proper phones, mm. computers. They normally use it at school and so forth. That's, that's an excellent question. So. You know what? Uh, so the immediate plans, I can, I can take that question back, but the immediate plans is to ensure that every child who have a mobile device or access to one. So if you're a parent, you can leave that phone at home. I don't know. But um, every mm -hmm. child who have access to a device will be able to access it. That's our first problem we're trying to solve. Now, for those persons who don't, right, what we're saying is let us get to the table we have e-learning as a partner and you know e-learning has done a fantastic job in the past couple of years to ensure that students are equipped with tablets the ministry as well so what we're saying is um let us answer that question we've taken some notes so we're going to push a response to that to see how we treat with students who actually don't have access to the device one thing i can okay. say though miss cameron is this yes. that the mobile penetration rate is roughly about 116 percent the last we checked right so more people have telephones in jamaica than there is um the population who can have one right and what we're saying is we're leveraging that in the first instance so everyone who has a mobile we want to ensure that they can access it next thing is this we are also thinking about streaming to the tv the television sets okay yes that sounds good so if you're at home we want to probably spin up a channel that the students can get in and get their thing going at that point, right? So these are some of the conversations that we're having um, because more people probably could have a TV that we could, you know, dust off and get going, but let's see how that works, right? Um, but these are some of the conversations we're having, okay? Just another one before you sure. go. Um, sure. In regards to the subject areas, will all subjects be accessible online or selective subjects to start? So we're starting with a very selected number of subjects, right? So we're talking about math and language, math and English across the board. That's what we're starting out with, right? Okay. And then we start rolling out the other subjects. We're starting out with CSEC, CAPE, and PEP only. So if you're not okay. studying CSEC, CAPE, or PEP, you won't be a part of March 23rd rollout. You'll have to come on the following week, okay? Following week. Right? Okay. Actually, and you actually, see... actually, the timetable will send out, but, I, I, you know, you will come on. Let me, the timetable is actually here. Let me ensure that I get my dates correct. So it will be, so here are the dates. The first date here of March 23rd will focus on um, CSEC CAPE for Math and English, PEP, Language and Math, right? The second date here, we're going to have same PEP, C, second K, but we're going to do it for more subjects, okay? Same uh, PEP, C, second K, but for more subjects. And then the last one right here, this is where we start rolling out to, from grades one all the way up to grade 13. We're also going to be working on the kindergarten students and the pre-K students as well. Because we do have content for the pre-K and the kindergarten students that allows mm -hmm. them and parents can actually take them through learning. So this is important. We're giving parents the content for pre-K, K, you know, grade one, grade two, that they can even help their students in the learning process. Okay, guys? So we're giving everyone the opportunity to continue learning, but it may not be everyone will be on live stream. Some may join the live stream because they have internet. Some may access the lesson 10 o'clock in the night, 6 o'clock in the morning because it's saved and accessible after the stream. Or some may, at some juncture, access it on their television set. But we want to allow everybody to access, okay? All right, thank you very much. Just before right, no you problem. go, so in the meantime, for the, for the teachers of the other subjects, we should just stay and listen to the training, participate until it's our time. Yes. Okay. No problem. All right, thank you. 
So, sorry about that, uh, Ms. Cameron. I cut so, you off. Thank you very early. much. No thank problem. you very Bye. much. Bye. Bye. All right, I'm seeing someone um, that's a J7 Prime, but I'm not sure who that is. I'm going to unmute that individual. Frankie. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so that person, right. hello? You reached down a lab. Okay, so that person, I'd have to just lower your hand. Um, J7 Prime, not sure who that is. Jamelia, let's hear from you, Jamelia. How did you like the, 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 the session? Two questions. Let's limit it to two questions so we can get through quickly. Two guys. questions. I had four questions, but anyways. Um, how are the 100? Oh, hi. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for this session. So it was very no informative. Problem. I appreciate no the initiative by the ministry right. um, in making e-learning um, accessible to all. I personally am a homeschooling um, mother. So really? teacher That's good. That's well. good. That's good. That's good. So I... Um, yeah. Our, our homeschool community is also familiar with um, e-learning yep. as well. Yep. So it's, it's not very new to us. Exactly. Um, however, you mentioned that there are 180 teachers that would be selected <coughs> in the Initially. first phase. Yeah. Right. For the first phase, how will this selection take place? What are the criteria? Um, how will they be notified? Will it be by email or is it going to be in the media? That's the first question. And then since I only have two, um, oh no, you mentioned the other one because you said it's only math and English because I, I wanted to talk about physics. Um, well, we do have physics content, but that will be rolled out the following week, on the 30th. On the 30th, okay, great. So we have the physics syllabus from grade 10, 11, 12, um, right. grade 10, 11, grade 9. We have the physics syllabus for all the topics on the CSEC curriculum is pre-recorded. So the students will theoretically take that and they can use it to prepare for the exam with the assistance of a teacher. They can clarify concepts. Per perfect. So the student would have to register with you guys to be able to access the content for free or is there a cost? No. So everything is being made available now through our partners at no charge to the student or the parents. This is not a time that we're trying to... Perfect. You know, ask students or parents to, to spend money. We understand parents are still probably have to find babysitters. So we want to make everything free, Jamelia. Okay, then. So since, since that question was answered before, my, my second question is, is there anything available during the two-week mandatory quarantine period? In terms of, when you say two <coughs> weeks, oh, you mean for Less, the next two weeks? Yeah, like before the 23rd of March. Is there yes. anything that you have that's available that we can currently yeah. use yes so, for any for any grade level yes right so we are so we're going to be launching um our platform on monday flow study 2.0 so essentially there you can access everything that i just told you about but we are going to be opening it up to the market now so currently there's a cost but give us until monday we're going to make it free for everyone to access all their lessons online on demand at their own convenience Perfect. And, and this would be, um, um, this information on when it's available and accessible will be sent to our email addresses that we registered for this webinar or another Well, way? it will be in the public's domain, but let me just give, I'm going to type the, the website here. The website okay. is www.flowstudy.co. I'm not seeing where you're typing that. Well, uh, oh, it's going privately. Okay, I'm just, let me send it to everyone. So it's going to be www.flowstudy flowstudy.co there is currently the, there's a cost there's a free trial that's available now there's a cost on the site now but we're removing that our engineers are removing that for monday flowstudy.co there you'd be able to access up to 33 subjects across c second cape question banks past papers virtual lab cyberpedia and those things you'll be able to access that come monday for free for the entire Jamaica and the Caribbean and it maps directly to the CSEC syllabus and we also will be making um, PEP content available there as well for students who are in primary school. Okay, um, okay, so Jamelia, if I could just run to another question. Um, did I answer your question correctly, Jamelia? Hello? I think we lost Jamelia. All right, so I'm taking about five more questions quickly, guys. So someone says, how will 180 teachers be chosen? So we'll be, cho we'll be choosing the teachers, obviously, by just running through the resumes. We've asked you guys to submit the resumes. 
um, the, there's a link that you can apply uh, and you could submit your details. We have a description as to what we're looking for. Uh, I'm just going to share my screen just to give you guys some expectation on that. Uh, one sec. So that's a very good question. So let me just, um, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. So All right, so, so you guys are seeing my screen? Right, very good. So right here, guys, jobs. If you go to jobs.oneononelms.com, right? Okay, so this is our website where we keep everybody up to date, oneononelms.com. So this is where we'll keep you up to date, okay? There's a little button here that you could register your interest, right? It's right here, right? But if you want to see the description, right, you go to jobs.oneononelms.com. When you go here, you will see a full description as to what we're looking for, right, guys? You should see what we're asking you to do here is this, you know, design lesson plans, create assignments. The system allows you to create assignments and have people submit homework. Um, grade assignment, the system automatically grades the quizzes. Um, engage students during class, provide feedback, access student performance, maintain availability. So you will tell us essentially when you're available and when you're not available. We'll have a substitute teacher, track attendance. It tells you what's required. Leadership, obviously, motivational skills, communication skills, computer skills, analytical skills, tools of the trade, right? We'd love for you to know about PowerPoint or something like Blackboard or something. We want people who at the very least have a, 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 an idea initially so we could move fast, but we do plan to train those who don't, right? We want you to be comfortable with online platform, big blue button. For those who have used Google Classroom in the past, that's, that's really good. Computer hardware accessories, so we're giving you these accessories, so you don't have to worry about these, but it'd be nice if you actually know how to use them. Um, we'll teach you if you don't. If you have a laptop computer, that's great. If you don't, we plan to give teachers a tablet to use, okay, guys, um, who are selected. Um, we are expecting teachers to have good internet connection at home. So this is the thing, right? Even though we will have the virtual school at a physical location, we are also going to be giving some teachers the flexibility of teaching from home, right? Which is why these microphones are so important, because when you're at home and you're speaking to this mic, it kind of drones out the... It, the, 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 the external, you know, audio around, the surrounding audio, right? So once you go here, we're only hearing the teacher, which is pretty cool. And then it kind of lists, um, you know, just about everything here. Teachers will be compensated per hour at a rate of about 2,000 to 5,000 per hour. Um, as you can imagine, information is coming quick and fast. So uh, any changes or updates, we'll let you guys know. Obviously, for those persons who would have been sent this link, um, you can <clears throat> fill this out and just upload your resume. You don't have to upload a cover letter, guys. It's not important. Uh, and then we'll ask you a bunch of questions. So let me, let me just apply and, and share with you what this looks like. <clears throat> you know, you can add this, you can add the experience, you can just upload your resume, then you go next. And then once you go next, we'll ask you a bunch of questions. What's your current role? Are you using digital lessons in your classroom already? If yes, or are these digital lessons used in your teaching? Do you know how to use a pen tablet to write? <clears throat> Which video conferencing platform you've used? Please keep them short, guys, please. Where do you look for educational material for your teaching? Just give us a few. The shorter it is, the better you, you are, right? Do you use social media as a teacher, right? Obviously, we'll have to continue engaging the kids on WhatsApp. We want to know how you use social media now. Are you comfortable showing your face during session? We want to know um, just because for, for CAPE students, CSEC, they are more mature, so that's fine. For the younger kids, we want them to be able to see their teacher. Okay, guys? <clears throat> have you ever done an online class? If so, please describe. You submit. And then once you submit this, um, so you could, you know, so let me just fill this out. Once you submit this, okay, we do a pre-screening and then we select the teachers. You will be notified because obviously we, we, we collect your details in terms of your, um, you suppose, you know, I'm getting an email now that I've applied, but you're supposed to get an email confirming that you've applied 
and we'll inform those persons who are successful for this batch. Not being successful in this batch doesn't mean that you're not successful, okay, guys? Because we will always be training teachers for what we're doing, okay? All right, so guys, let me go to two more questions quickly. J, um, Galaxy J2 Prime, I've unmuted you. Can you tell us, um, perhaps we need to reduce it to one question. And that person is not being unmuted, so I have to go to MLV5. Is there an MLV5? Um, who is that? Let me unmute MLV5. That's Mark Oil Barnett. Yes, go ahead, MLV5. Who is that? Good afternoon. My name is Narcoil Barnett. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Just want to say um, thank you um, to the Ministry of Education as well as um, One and One and Flo, their partners. Really enjoyed this session this afternoon. Thank you. Um, I won't stay long because most of the questions that I had are interested in asking. Um, those were already asked earlier. Mm -hmm. So. That's all I have to say this afternoon. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for that. All right. And, and thank yes. you for You're welcome. giving us the, the big up. We're really trying. But as we said, as Cheryl and I said earlier, that the ministry flow one-on-one -on -one and e-learning can partner all we want to make sure that the streams are available. But this will, will not be a success if we don't have your support. And we thank you for your support this evening in, in staying on this call with us and getting all the information. So thank you. It, it is our pleasure, and I'm sure we'll be lobbying with our other teachers as well and educators to come on board. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. You're welcome. Right, good, good. Davina, how are you, Davina? I just um, unmuted you. How are you? Hello. Good afternoon. Hi, Davina. Yes. Um, okay. Um, I'm, I joined late, so I did not get most of the information, but I heard you talking about the flow on demand um, on your phone. Um, will you have to download the app in order to access that? Yes. So we are going to have it on the TV, right? So everyone who, is, who has a TV, will, um, we're working on getting those streams to the TV. We're also going to have it on the website. So just so we, we don't want anyone to be left out, but the flow on demand um, app, we, let, let's talk about that. We may be able to do it, but I don't want to make any promises now because the initial focus of ours is to get as many people access via the points that they are used to. So for example, your website, you know, on the mobile phones and so on. But we do plan to expand as we learn more. You see, Davina, here, here's the thing, right? Right now, mm -hmm. the truth of the matter is, Corona has hit us, what, two days ago, three days ago, right? And one-on-one, um, -on -one, thankfully, with our partners, Flo, we've, we were just in the Bahamas helping close to about 3,000 students in Abaco and Grand Bahama who has been displaced by Hurricane Dorian. And so we are leveraging those learnings to execute this and to ensure that students stay in school. But the information will, will change. It's anchored on the virtual school, but they will make some updates based on the learning. So, for example, let's suppose that we've started and, you know, we start the pilot and we hear a student in Moko can access it. How do we solve that problem? Those problems we'll have to, to look at and, and try to solve. But we also don't want to wait until the time to see the problem to solve it, right? We want to also predict that problem. And the best way to predict um, something is to extrapolate. So what we mean is, can we use the pilot to have a student in Moko, to have a student in Top Trelawney, to have a student down in St. Elizabeth, Westmoreland, wherever, and to get feedback in the farest places that you can find, and then solve those individually in the pilot, and then expand now to more students to have access. Okay, because I was thinking about my students, and we're in the rural area. Where are you <laughs> um, from? Um, we are in Bogwalk. Bogwalk. So we need to put Bogwalk on the list to ensure that we ensure a student down there is testing. Um, you know, obviously Bogwalk is, is kind of big and wide, right? And, and, and yes, Bogwalk is like one of the largest communities in Saint Catherine. It's exactly, ex exactly. And I know you have a lot of a, a, a land a land space. Um, there, land so. mass. Yes. yes, yes, yes. So, Davina, just trust us that as we move through the pilot, we will try to solve some of those problems, okay? Okay. All right, Davina, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye. All right, uh, let's take um, 
Let's take one more. My team should be on the stream responding to some of these questions. So those persons, I see Poros, I raise their hand. Um, I'm going to lock it right now and not take any more questions so I can just get through these guys because um, we have to wrap up. So let me just lock the, 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 the question and answer session so that, uh, <clears throat> sorry, let me see how to, one sec. Okay, so I'm going to lock it. All right. Okay, very good. I'm going to go ahead and lock and then I'm going to, um, okay, right, here we go. So, Narcoil, Barnett, I'm, I'm not seeing your, I'm not seeing your mic connected so you can speak and you, you probably can't hear me, but you could type your question and we'll respond. But I'm going to lower your hand and I'm going to move on to, who is this? Um, 6XKWG. Let's see who that is. So it's Honor, 6X. Who is that? Hello, good day. Hi, good how are you? Good day to everyone. Hello. This is Cheryl. Hi. So the name is Katie and Garibaldi. So I, I kind of signed in late because okay. I forgot. But I heard some, most of the questions I had answered. What okay. I wanted to know was, well, I'm a chemistry teacher. For Monday, I was expecting to teach some classes okay. online. But I'm hearing something about the, um, the going out on the 23rd. They're going to launch on the 23rd. Right. So the virtual school will be launched on the 23rd, Cadian, for the, I mean, the country. For the teachers. Right. Meaning that's the central place where we'll have the teachers come, sit down with the tablet and thing, and teach a standard curriculum. That said, we are going to give all teachers in the country a platform, our platform, which is the one-on-one -on -one classrooms platform, right? Allowing you to teach your own class and to, to do your own thing in your own time that you want. Okay, guys? So okay, it's a so. two-prong approach. We're not saying that everyone should do this. That's what, no, that's what we're saying. We're saying that if you are a teacher and you want to brush up on the syllabus and finish up, right, you will get the platform to do that. However, we will have some standard daily programming where students, a grade one student go on, click on grade one, click on his timetable, click on the class, his teacher pops up, and that's live. We're going to have that standardized for the entire country. But you will get a platform that you can do it yourself as well, okay? So, for, so for example, I would set up a classroom, distribute the login details to my students, and then they log in to class, and we have class as I would have scheduled for them. No, absolutely. That's exactly how it works, right? Yes. Understood, understood. Right. So you okay, will be then. able to set up your own timetable, have your classes, and what's amazing is after you've had your classes, it saves the class so that they can access it in the future. And you'll be able to also pull content from other resources, such as YouTube. You can pull those content, Google Drive, and you can pull it into your class, right? So you're not limited to um, what we're uh, doing right here. We're giving you the power to create, which is why it's so important for you to get trained on delivering of online um, instruction, okay? Okay, will I be able to, um, well, as of Monday, will I be able to, like, set up um, graded yes. pieces for my students and they are, they're able to go on and the great, it's marked and recorded? Yes, you will. Okay, then. Okay, then. No problem. All right, okay. then. Thank you very much. Bye, Kirian. Okay. All right, Lisa, Lisa Morgan. How are you doing, Lisa? Good afternoon. I'm Ricardo. This is Cheryl. I'm Hi, from One on One. Cheryl is from the Ministry of Education. Lisa? Oh, Lisa is not muted. Sorry. Oh, Lisa, go ahead. Well, let me unmute you, Lisa. I'm trying to unmute you. I'm not sure what's happening, Lisa. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, we are. How are you doing, Lisa? Okay, good afternoon, everyone. It's a delight Hi. being on the platform. Nice. nice. I, I, must, I must give commendation to, to your team as well as to the ministry because this is an initiative that I've always been experimenting with over the years as an wow. educator. Um, nice. I've been using it oh, and I've nice. been using okay. it your online platform as well for classes. Right. But, um, what I've realized 
And I'm not trying to downplay anything that you'd have said because I'm all, all for it. I'm buying into the program. Right. But after doing experimentation, because let's say, for example, I've realized that I have a student who is, who is slightly having special needs or have students who would have been experiencing truancy. So I decided, for example, to create a website for them. Okay. The problem I'm having is they are not able to have internet connectivity. Okay. So that's my main concern because I'm interested in creating videos. I've done that. I've used the Edmodo platform, uploaded assignments, etc. But my biggest concern is the connectivity. All right. This so is going to be an, ex an excellent program if the connectivity is stabilized. That's, right. I mean, we even have, we even have the, um, the tablet in school initiative at our school, and it basically, in a sense, crashed because we didn't have internet connectivity. So All once right, that is resolved, Lisa? Lisa Morgan. All right, Lisa, I was just, I'm going to show you something right now so that you understand how serious we are about solving some of these problems. Firstly, Edmodo. Okay. Um, I, I'm like the fact mm -hmm. that you mentioned that because I know a lot of teachers use things like Schoology, Edmodo, that sort of thing. Google for Classroom. Yes. But what one on one right. has done is to create a platform for the Caribbean teachers using Caribbean mm -hmm. teachers. We used about 50 teachers to create this platform so that it's created in your eyes, right? And I understand yes. exactly what you're saying, and that's what we're trying to fix. So we've, we've kind of fixed problem number one. Problem number two internet. We mm -hmm. have just manufactured these boxes. Lisa, I want you to see it now, right? Because you'll be seeing these. And these okay, boxes, cool. we are going to download the internet on top of it and place them in the most remote areas there is. And what's that going to allow is for students to connect to these boxes and have access to all their online learning resources. And that's, those are the things we're working on. So, so these boxes will be placed at the schools? Well, well, we don't know yet. What, what we're saying, I'm just giving you, because we're on the call and I'm being very transparent. Um, one yes. and one, we are serious about e-learning. We have the infrastructure, the technology to deliver, but we also mm -hmm. need the people, right? And what we've heard from teachers is that internet is an issue. So what we went and Big did, issue. we went and we built a box so that we can mm -hmm. offline the internet. It's amazing, right? However, we're still testing it. We're still testing. And, you know, right now, in fact, we, we, we did a program in Moran Bay uh, where we piloted with a few students who went down there and we just connected the projector to the box and we recorded teachers in Kingston teaching and we could have downstream the lessons to the box down in Moran Bay. So the students in the class were receiving lessons without internet. Okay? Oh, um, that's awesome. That's the power, right? So we, 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 we are working to get these things out and we're finalizing the build right now. But they're, they're mm -hmm. in the middle of your and you put them in a class, you connect your projector, right? And it works, right? You can also connect many devices to it from your computer, your mobile phone, you connect to it and it works, right? So this is what we're coming with. And you can rest assured that this thing will solve some of your problems, okay? But the immediate That's problem is that internet right and with flow yes. as our partner flow mm -hmm. has agreed to essentially for people who are mobile to have access to their self-paced content not the live streams the self-paced content so that when you go on you can watch a video that was saved okay but you won't mm -hmm. be able to jump on the live stream as you can imagine so many students streaming at the same time may cause some issues okay and so right. we are allowing that zero rated not on the live stream, on the self-paced content. All right, Lisa? Yes, and I've, been, I've done that already, and I've seen the benefits of it. And I must say that the initiative is a, is a great one. Um, I've used e-learning information on their platforms because I think that's where my appetite got, you know, sensationalized uh, because it was so exciting. Yeah, well, e and um, e I've used your platform as well, and it's, I must say, because I've used it for chemistry, your, um, your online space and it's very good so yeah. i'm not in any way doubtful of your company because i've had interface with your company one-on-one -on -one before thank and i've so also much, recommended Lisa. it to my students so thumbs up for that thank you thank you i will tell mr borrell who is the chemistry teacher that he's done a good job we we partner yes. with teachers to build the content 
Uh, and we, we, you know, we work with teachers just as we're going to do now with you guys so that we enable you to build great content for yourself and also for the entire Jamaica. So thank you so much, Lisa. Yes, and I've been telling Mr. Borrell that too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right, cool. <laughs> okay. All right, Susie. Um, we have just a few more guys. Susie, talk to, talk to us, Susie. How are you? Okay, I'm good. Um, happy for the opportunity to be here and to be a part of this because, as you know, with this corona epidemic um, issue, our students are in danger of missing valuable content and learning right. time. Right. Lots of the questions I had were already asked and answered. Okay. My concern, though, is um, the students who are in need of extra support because I'm a special ed court coach and um, I am concerned about those students with, who are going to be out of school and will not be interacting with content, as well as the fact that those a lot of these children come from communities where um, their economic background does not facilitate certain amenities. I, under, I heard about the box. Um, you answered a lot of the questions that I had. That box that you, very innovation, innovative. Um, yes, and um, if that really works, then that would be wonderful. But um, the internet that we have as it is now in the schools, they are very problematic and um, slow and will it be able to facilitate the platforms um, yeah. like yeah. this delivery? So just to, just to share, right, that's exactly why we did the box, because we believe that um, the box, which is this, once we download the internet on top of the box, you'll be, and we place this into a school, then you don't need to necessarily go out and download stuff, right? It will be in your school and you will have access to it. And I can tell you this, right? Um, when we went down to Moran Bay, none of the videos buffered. You know why? Because you're not using the internet, right? The box is right there with you. And that's the sort of innovation that we're doing, right? And our goal is to continue working with, you know, the Ministry of Education, Flo, uh, you know, and our partners, you know, CXC is also our partner, right? We partner with CXC. They have the learning hub with all the, the, the learning content, the past papers and so on. We, we, we are partnering with the key stakeholders to tell us the needs so that we can develop what we need to develop. I mean, some of what we do, I must be honest, has even been used in places in Africa, right? That, that um, you know, that has worse situation than we have. So, you know, we, we don't want to go and play abroad before we play at home. There are serious problems here that we need to fix. And we, we are, we're working our very best to do that, right? So, Susie, Agreed. we're working. Agreed. And, and our plan is to, to, to get, as I said, all students on. We may have some challenges with those who just don't have access to internet, but we're working on something, okay? Yes, so you're saying these boxes place at strategic points in communities. Students from their own phone or whatever can access this information. Yes, yes. but don't, this, All right, this, another this question not, I have. This is not going to be for the next two weeks, though. I can tell you that. Okay. But we're Understand. working on a use case where we could do it. Because, you see, we don't want anybody to go in any groupings of any kind. Yes, that has to be avoided at all costs. Right. Um, the next question I'm asking now is um, this TV that you, um, you're contemplating, would it be that you're going to uh, like host a whole learning channel where learning is available via TV channel um, all day, every day, at whatever time, different contents? Yeah, you know, it kind of like things, right? I think we have to go back and have the conversation with our partners. But our goal is to have that standardized timetable. You go on at a particular time, just as you know that bowl and the beautiful coming on to nine at night. You go on okay, and you say okay. nine o'clock, I'm watching that. And that's, that's how we see it working, right? Math is Mondays at five, jump on and, and you know, we make sure tomorrow is, you know, you have your thing that you can do and, and we kind of just work it that way. So that's the idea. Okay, thank you very much for your no answers. Um, very informative, I appreciate it. Blessings. No problem, Susie, bye. All right, um, and guys who are on Twitter, you could just um, reach me at Ricardo D. Allen, right? It's at Ricardo D. Allen. Any questions that you have, you can ask. We also have Titania Clark, who is a part of our team. Titania is our head of content. She has made the stream available, and I can't thank her enough. We have Gregory Rochester as well. All of those guys are on Twitter. You just reach out to us, reach out to one-on-one -on, -one on Twitter, one-on-one -on -one locker, 
and, and we'll be able to respond to some of your questions, right? The entire one-on-one -on -one team um, is a part of this. And, and let me just use this opportunity to say that um, we are, while we are leading this initiative, we are saying to other e-learning companies that are there, that do have content, that let us get together so that we can solve the problem, okay? We are not saying that this is the only way. What we're saying is that we are fixing a problem, but this problem is so big that not one person can fix. Okay, guys? So we have to join hands to make it work. All right? All right. So is that N. Ilton? Ilton? Just two more guys. Ilton, you're breaking up. Good afternoon. Pardon? Not hearing you. Ilton, can you type? Right. I'm just going to move on. No, I can't. You, you, you're breaking up. Sorry. Keon, uh, go ahead, Keon. Keon? Hello, Keon. Oh, you're still muted. I'm so sorry, Keon. I think you tried to unmute at the same time I was unmuting you. Keon, can you unmute? Keon, Keon Johnson, is that it? All right. Okay. And I, I, you know? Yes, go ahead, Keon. Okay, so I heard of the various subjects that uh, this uh, will facilitate. However, I, I did not hear any information regarding the other subjects. Um, like we have economics, you have other subjects like um, um, MOB or other business subjects and other right. subjects um, from other areas that were not mentioned. Okay. Will these um, be facilitated as well? Yes, Ken. So our aim is that if we get up to the 13th, which is a target date for us, the 13th of April, all subjects at all levels will be provided. From okay. kindergarten, pre-K, that's the aim. But we are doing a phased implementation. So the first implementation is math, language, um, for, for obviously primary school, the PEP students, um, what, what you may call it now. Um, in high school, for example, you know, we, we have obviously, um, you know, persons doing exams, even CVQ for CXC and CCSLC, those are exams as well, right? So our aim is to partner with the, 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 the bodies like a CXC and ensure that all the content is covered. And it's an active discussion that's going on, but we want to start small, math, language in primary school, in high school, English language or English A, and obviously math. And then we expand to all subjects and we want to focus on PEP, CSEC, and CAPE in the first two weeks, guys. After that, we roll out from grade one all the way up. So allow us to start with PEP, CSEC, and CAPE, and then we can roll out for the others, all right? That's about phase two of the, of the, the project? Yes. However, next week, starting next week, we will open the Flow Study platform up so that persons can go on and access their own resources on their own time. That is separate from the virtual school. flowstudy.co is where you can just go and sign up and we're going to make that free for everyone to access all the videos and so on. Now, here's the important part, Kean. If there is a subject that we don't have content for, let's say music or religious education, we're also giving you the one-on-one -on -one classrooms so that essentially you can use the platform to teach your own class, okay? So you'll be able to do live classes to your own class. All right, Kayan? Okay, so I can meet my own, my own students then yes. from my school on the platform? Yes, all, all the schools are already added to the platform. So when they sign up, after we make it open, when they sign up, you will be able to teach your own class, okay? Okay. All right, guys. All right, Kayan, can I move on to the next one? Sure, you may. Thanks, Kayan. All right, so we have... Just Cleon. Cleon? How are you, Cleon? Yes, sir. How are I'm you? good. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I, wanna, I just want to congratulate you on the work you're doing. And Absolutely. you're a real trailblazer. I must commend you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Come on. And the ministry too, they're doing, they're doing an excellent the job. Ministry, Flo, and everybody. <laughs> E-learning, <laughs> all of that. You know, we have Flo, everybody. The other e-learning, co- I mean, people are just coming together to make this work, clear. And we need you, clear. And we need you on board. Definitely, definitely. I'm a computer science teacher, so, you know, I'm very well, interested really, in this move. We are we actually know. looking for <laughs> some computer science sixth form students to assist us in the next two weeks. So if mm-hmm. they can go on the site and apply, I'd appreciate mm-hmm. that as well. Oh, that's the next thing because I came on late when you were talking about something happening on either Monday or some training session and something about a job posting. Okay, so the, the job site, content. we're going to post on social media, follow one-on-one right now on Twitter, one-on-one education so we can post that. But the job site is jobs.oneononelms.com, right? So you can, right, I'll reach you and you can apply for the job. And next week will be training. We're going to send out the training days. They are. So we're going to send it out via email because we have all your emails based on persons who would have come to, onto this stream, okay? Oh, okay. All right. All right, clear. All right, Bye. All right, keep up the good work, man. No problem. Anytime. Bye bye. Mm-hmm. All right, Porous Eye, how are you doing? Do it, this? Doing good. Marilyn Murray. Marilyn Murray from Porous Eye. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi. I really want to lord one-on-one MOUI and flow for this initiative. No problem. Thank and you. I think I have an out-of-box question because sure. we do have technologically savvy persons within working within the ministry. Um, as I noted that you spoke about educators accessing the program. Uh, what, what sometimes we have very technologically savvy persons within our institution, not educators, but offering invaluable support. Would such persons be qualified to participate in the March 23, 23rd workshop? So, not so you're saying not teachers, but the persons who are admin persons at the schools? Right. Absolutely. Like and this is why it's important, right? And you just gave us an idea. We're going to invite now all the admins to probably get on and we can have another uh, webinar with them next week. I'll tell you why. We're going to make the, the one-on-one classrooms available to every school in Jamaica where teachers can have it and use it to do their own live classes, set up their lessons and do their own live classes. We will be depending on the administrators to set them up so that they can onboard the teachers, onboard the students and add the classes for them and also to manage the, cl- the platform in the school, okay? So we need those persons and we need them on board, yes. Thank you very much. No problem. Thanks for the question and the suggestion. You have helped a lot of school, I'm sure. (laughs) Thanks. All right, bye-bye. All right, last question now. We've come to the last question. Miss McIntosh, is this Mr. or Mr.? Last but not least, how are you? McIntosh? Who is that? Just call the others for me. I want big demo. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. So um, I'm not hearing Mac in touch, uh, but guys, um, I think we've come, we've recorded this, and we're gonna place it on the website. It's 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 everybody. It's one on one LMS dot com. It's gonna be on the website that you can always rewatch it and get a feel for it. And all of those questions, I'm pretty sure teachers will want those questions. We'll probably even use this as an online course, right? We'll take it and we'll pull it apart. And what we will do is essentially um, to use it for future reference. So if anybody has those questions, I think um, that, that, that's kind of the intention. But yeah, absolutely. From everybody, from everybody. Right, guys. So before we go, I just want to introduce you to the one-on-one team, some members of the one-on-one team who have made this possible. Um, and, uh, you know, these are the real guys who are, who are getting it done, right? Uh, a number of our employees are obviously at home. This is Titania. Titania is our head of content. This is Conrad. So, this is, um, let's get her over here. Good job. This is Elaine Peck. She's our head of enterprise. So, she gives our solution to companies. And she'll be the one who works with the schools to ensure that you guys have access to it. This is Gregory. He ensures that all the content is right and the stream is right, right? 
So guys, this is just a part of the one-on-one -on -one team. We're a young company, a bunch of young people, um, you know, just working with teachers to solve some of the big problems, right? And uh, we're really happy that you were able to join us today. We're gonna have another webinar. Follow us on Twitter at one on one locker. Follow me, Ricardo D. Allen, and we're gonna have fun. We're gonna help these kids. These kids are going to be okay, right? And that's because of you and what we will be doing together, guys. Have a very good evening from one on one and the team, and from Cheryl, the Minister of Education. Bye, guys. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye bye. Um, how do I cancel? Okay, here we go.